you there. Today we're making easy apple coffee cake. How easy? Super easy. The batter really comes together in a matter of a few, a few minutes and then we top it with a layer of nicely sliced apples and we put it in the oven to bake to perfection. Let's get started. So for the batter we need two cups of flour, one cup of granulated sugar, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one large egg, lightly beaten, one cup milk, two tablespoons of olive oil. And for the top, we need a half a cup of chopped walnuts, a quarter cup of butter, melted and cooled, half a teaspoon of brown cinnamon, and a half a cup of brown sugar, firmly packed. And for our apple layer, we need lots of apples. We need, I, I used two apples. I used Granny Smith apple, one Granny Smith apple and one Gala apple. But you can use any apples you have in your refrigerator. And I uh, sliced them really thinly. You can take a closer look at it. I didn't peel the apples, I simply cored them and sliced them. And this is the thickness you're looking for. Okay, let's make our dough. So I'm gonna put my flour in a large mixing bowl. Top goes the sugar, baking powder, and a dash of salt. Give it a quick stir. And then I'm adding my wet ingredients to this batter. So I have one large egg lightly beaten. I have olive oil and milk. At this point, all you have to do is stir it until it's well blended and that's it. The batter is ready and I've uh, lightly greased my baking pan and sprinkled some flour on top. It's a nine by 13 inch baking pan, Pyrex stick. And I'm going to transfer the batter into the pan and I'm going to spread it evenly to cover the entire surface of the pan and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the apples on top in this fashion so I have green apples and I have red apples so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate the layers so that to have a nice colorful effect so I've layered all the apples on top of the dough let's make our topping for the topping I have brown sugar. I'm going to mix brown sugar with cinnamon and butter. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it on top of the apples randomly. All right, the cinnamon topping is, is already on the apples and I'm going to sprinkle the whole thing with my chopped walnuts. And make sure you, you chop the walnuts coarsely to have some crunch in the cake. So I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to bake this cake for about 45 minutes until the edges pull away from the sides of the pan and the cake is nice and tender. We'll come back when it's ready. My cake is ready, it baked nicely and it's still a little warm, but I'm still gonna try it. Cake, take a look at the uh, batter, it baked nicely, it's nice and spongy and the apples of different colors. It's just beautiful on top and walnuts are going to add a nice crunch to the cake. Let's try it and see how we did. Mm. It's really good. I like that we used two types of apples. Mm. I like the tang of the Granny Smith apple and um, the sweetness of the red apple. They really go well together. And you know what will be good on this cake? A dollop of nice creamy vanilla ice cream. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you make it in the comments below. Get the detailed recipe on my blog azcookbook.com. Subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye!